Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for November 19th, 2023. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Aries, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone, okay? Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Also keep in mind, Aries, that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you. If I can set this thing up the right way, that would be great. <laughs> I see why, okay. <laughs> All right. For the new people here, uh, for those of you that do not know, I use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever, okay? For the people that have been here, you already know, I do knew, I do know most of these cards in the upright. However, some of these and the reversals, I am still learning. At the same time, though, <clears throat> I use the book in order to read the description for you so that you can get a complete and accurate depiction for what is going on for you, okay? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> two of cups all right so you guys may be meeting someone or coming into some kind of partnership or dealings with someone or something like this is significant okay coming together with someone filling up each other's cup boom a date, chance meeting, new romance, an engagement if supported by enhancing cards, proposal or hand fasting, agreement or truce between two parties, law settlement or man asking woman out, he is approaching her, deeper meanings, tantric union, soulmate card. Excuse me, guys, I got hair, freaking hair in my mouth. Use this card in your meditations to attract the right person for you. Conversely, this card can indicate successful contract signings and business. Okay, I thought it was my doggy. <laughs> If supported by wands, conflict resolution is supported by swords or a promotion, raise, or loan is supported by coins. This is a very lucky or fortunate card. It is also the physical manifestation of the concept of the lover's major arcana card. All right. One, two, three, four. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. One, two, three, four. All right. In the past, we have the Knight of Wands reversed. In the present, we have the Nine of Swords reversed, and in the future, we have the Page of Swords, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Alright, Knight of Wands reversed. This is usually not depicted as a very good card. <clears throat> it's like the negative aspect of the Knight of Wands. I said Knight of Swords. It is the Knight of Wands reversed, okay? Charging ahead without forethought, impulsive behavior, usually detrimental, Uncontrolled anger or sexual desires, bullying, domineering young alpha males, also abruptness of personality, rudeness, bad planning, grandstanding, attention getting antics of little useful value, need for public attention and validation, okay? So you guys could be dealing with someone like this or this could be you, take it as it resonates, feel free to reverse the roles, all right? Could be a fire sign that you were dealing with, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see. This is not going to be a very long reading today, guys. I got a lot of stuff to do, so I'm going to try to make this <clears throat> a little bit shorter than normal, okay? Just want to throw that out there. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Clarify Knight of Wands for me for Aries today, please. One, two, three, four. All right, we have the King of Swords in the reverse, Four of Swords, and the Five of Cups, okay? So the King of Swords in the reverse, this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius <clears throat> that you are dealing with. Excuse me, guys, I cannot get this thing out of my throat. It's killing me, okay? A patient man with a cruel, calculating mind, criminal criminal mastermind, or ringleader, iron-fisted tyrant, dictator, okay? And then we have the Four of Swords. It's like you're moving on from two negative people in your energy here uh, that keep trying to plot and plan against you in order to bring you down in some kind of way. It's not working. Okay. Four of Swords. 
This is not a card of death, okay? This card symbolizes a few different but related fixed energy concepts. Most often it shows a rest after protracted effort, a retirement, or putting something to rest finally. It could also indicate rest after surgery. An alternative set of meaning is that of legacies, monuments, and honors bestowed rather belated. This card could indicate an inheritance if expected by any several cards. Physical locations indicated are quite naturally funeral parlors, crypts, and the morgue. Occasionally this will indicate actual funerals, okay? For a small portion of you out here, you may have went through or dealt with an actual funeral here. Oh, my hair in the next, like, I would say next week, my hair will be laying down flat. It's getting too, getting too long. I think I'm just going to keep growing it for a little while. Anyways, so, or you're putting this situation to rest with this air sign and this fire sign that kept trying to mess with you. or And they're both in the reversal, okay? Both of these people are negative people. They don't know how to be happy with themselves or be happy together. They just, the only thing that brings these people happiness is trying to bring other people down, okay? You're finally putting this situation to rest, okay? You're no longer dealing with these people or letting them mess with you or fuck with you, as I like to say, okay? At the, you're also like, or you or these people are a little upset about it with this five of cups, okay? In the upright, <clears throat> It says sacrifice. This is a card of loss and mourning. The loss itself is usually a very real and tangible thing. Find what it is by looking at expecting cards, expecting and associated cards. The subtext of this card is hope, but respect the loss before dismissing it altogether. So it's like you guys are still you're feeling very like um, feeling like you're at a loss here or someone in your energy is feeling like they're at a loss. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. OK. In time, the loss will be left behind and the mess will be cleaned. Perhaps that time is now. Proceed gently here in your advice, okay? So it entails motion on despair and need for support and healing, okay? So this is something that you had to go through. You had to put these signs, okay, these other people in your energy that were negative people, negative aspects. You had to put this to rest. You had to move on from this situation because you realized that they were not going to come to the conclusion that they needed to leave you alone and stop trying to mess with you and stop trying to bring you down okay these people were just doing this over and over and over again okay but it's showing me that you're releasing this emotionally here okay definitely it says that emotional release letting go of old pain and moving on a release of tension that you can physically feel you have endured great stresses great stresses and now the causes of those are being lifted it's time to forget the past and create new better memories okay let's clarify this nine of swords for aries in the present please one, two, three, four. Okay, three of swords reversed. Five of swords reversed and the world card. Okay, definitely releasing this energy. This is great. Okay. Okay, it's someone that was trying to dominate you. Okay. But you ended up dominating this these people, okay? You ended up dominating this situation, okay? <laughs> Weakness, fear, hesitancy, or running away from issues, okay? So yeah, someone's like, if someone decided to run away from this, they were trying to come in and dominate you and it didn't work, okay? It reversed and flipped onto them. So now they're being dominated, they decided to run away from this, okay? Now with the Three of Swords and the Reversal. It definitely got an air sign somewhere in your energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. There's like one, two, three, four, five, five air cards on the table, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? Three of Swords, swift, healthy recovery after surgery, rectifications of injury sustained, emotional healing after brutal heartache, restitutions offered under command of authority figures, okay? And then we have the Five of Swords. Mm -mm -mm. In the reversal, an end to subjugation, freedom from oppression, conflict resolution comes after someone has the nerve to stand up to false authority. More than likely, this will be a, concert, a concerted team effort rather than any one individual. Example, David versus Goliath, okay? And then we have the world card. So you're going to be very happy in the present here once you let go of all of this mess, okay? All these negative people, negative things in your energy, whatever this could be, okay? But the world card in the upright, this is looking very good for you here, Aries. Looking very happy, okay? Very happy card to get. Where is it at, though? <laughs> oh, it's like the very last one. That's fine. Okay. This is a very happy card on the physical level. At its most basic, it represents the pampered and the idle rich, those wonderfully happy people born into generational wealth who have nothing better or worse to do than to play all day and wonder how they will play all night as well. It truly is the world at your feet. The key to this card is that it is evolution on so many levels of meaning that it can easily apply to any situation. 
It is extremely ambiguous and all but demands clarification by accompanying minor accompanying minor arcana cards to give it focus. This is another completion card, but as noted, it is a card of evolution from one state to another. The alchemical correspondence is that of transmuting lead into gold. The base chemical composition is almost identical, but the elemental change is eclipsed by the perceived value change. In the same way, you stay who you are, but become something much more valuable through this card. This is the ultimate happily ever after card. Okay? So you're going to be very happy after you move on from the situation, Aries. Yeah, someone that watches you, though, most definitely could be someone that's younger than you. They're, like, upset about the situation, wanting to take this away. Okay, or for some of you out here, uh, you, you have kids, okay? Page of Swords. All right. As representative of a person, this card indicates a young boy or girl or a student, either of the qualities of the suit of swords, rash, loud, defensive, angry, potentially violent, or of the element of air, intelligent, studious, hyperactive, razor wit. If this card indicates a message, expect the wording to be sharp and pointed, like unpleasant news or something delivered with disdain. When this card indicates a situation or a state of being, it reflects the act of taking the moral high ground, vehemently arguing a point, speaking from a platform, teaching, lecturing, or preaching. It does not indicate a war of words, but rather a spirited exchange unless negatively aspected, okay? We got the hanging man. King of Wands, upright. King of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Four of Cups in the reverse, okay? With the hangman. I'm gonna have to groom my fingernails so I got I can't grab the book anymore. It's not that I necessarily need to, it just makes me feel more confident. <laughs> Turning your back on routine and searching out answers, this could be a style of problem solving that is used by the person this the card relates to, seeing things differently, sacrifice for a greater goal, missing out on life, but usually because one is preoccupied with something important. However, if this card shows up with, say, the Nine of Swords and or the Four of Coins, you get the idea. You may be seeing someone who is afraid to live or afraid of spending their money, time, youth, or some other valuable commodity. They are hiding from life. This happens quite a bit, really, but like any other major arcana card, you really need to tie it in with to tie it into minor arcana cards that give it definition. This card also shows a time of waiting, inaction, deep thought, passive magical exercises, meditation, prayer, attraction, here as seduction, okay? The good news is here, Aries, you're standing in your power. You're moving forward with yourself and what you need to do. It's causing someone else to falter or their, their true colors are being revealed here, okay? They're having to ask for help from other people around them, possibly, okay? But you're standing in your power and someone else's true colors are being shown here. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, okay? Doesn't have to be. But the King of Wands and the Upright, this is a very good card to have here, Aries, okay? This is a man's man, one of adventure, action, and machismo. Usually quick to anger with a fiery, intense personality. He is usually too impatient to invest his valuable time scheming. His way is direct, forceful, and to the point. So he is often honest simply from a lack of of cunning choose this card for a leader a boss or any highly dangerous profession alternatively you can use this card to represent any man of the fire signs aries leo sagittarius a fiery tempered man or a red-headed man over 30 okay now we have the king of pentacles in the reverse a wasteful small-minded arrogant man small man syndrome petulance stubborn rude elitist tyrannical or bullying cretion Alternatively, loss of power, status, money, or health, okay? Somebody's losing their shit because they tried to fuck with you, okay? Now with the four cups and the reversal. This is still not the most pleasant card, but it can indicate coming out of one's shell or a release from despondence and an and ending of hiding away from the world, okay? This could be you or someone else. Could be moving on like from... Hiding away from the world, moving out there, getting out there, getting back into society, okay? Let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of this situation for you guys, okay? Big Bubba Mac, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. One, two, three, four. All right, pictures. We have Listen, Big Bubba Mac, okay? Listen to what I'm about to say. These next couple of cars are going to be very significant for you. Someone's looking at your pictures or pictures of you or pictures of you and them or you for that person, vice versa, or someone has pictures of you doing something, something like this. All right. 
something about a marriage here. You could be getting married or someone wants to marry you or you want to marry someone or something like this or you could be married already, okay? Aries, you came out for yourself, baby. Okay, looking very good. Someone, someone wants to marry you or you're already married here, Aries. Something about your navel chakra is significant, okay? Or someone's navel chakra is significant. Something about this, okay? Let me get one more for... One, two, three, four. We have sister, okay? You could have a sister or something about someone's sister is significant. Someone's sister's navel chakra, which means pregnancy, is significant here. Something like that, okay? One, two, three, four. We have pictures, again. Someone's definitely looking at pictures of you or has pictures of you or you look at pictures of someone. Something like this is significant here, Aries. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> we have snake plant, okay? You could own a snake plant, okay, possibly, or you have plants, or a snake plant also represents the mother-in-law's tongue, so if you are married or were married or something like this, your mother-in-law could be talking about you, whether it's good or bad. Someone's proud or proud of you or you're proud of someone or something about someone proud here. One, two, three, four. We have musician and sacral chakra, okay? You could be a musician or someone trying to block your musical talent or trying to block your sacral chakra so that way you can't use your musical talents or something like this one two three four proud again okay succulent someone trying to be like an energy vampire or you could possibly own succulents okay something like this let me get three more one two three four pregnancy okay someone could be pregnant okay and your energy or you're pregnant with a new idea or someone in your energy is or something like this is significant pay attention okay i'm gonna pull three cards from the back seed or seeds okay someone could be pregnant again or you're planning some new ideas or something like this or you, something like that is significant here and we also have pisces so you could be dealing with a pisces or you have pisces somewhere in your chart or something about a pisces is significant here and we have anger someone could be angry at you or you're angry at someone or something about anger going on here okay let's get a message from the ancestor oracle card okay Sorry guys, I know this one's not super long, but like I said, it usually usually they're pretty long or I'll take my time with them, but today I got a lot of stuff to do, okay? So all right. Ancestors, spirit guides, guide, angels, archangel, Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. All right. One more time. One more time. My nose is so itchy. Okay. All right. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. One, two, three, four. Courage and hero. Okay, you could be seen as a hero or you could be seen as courageous or someone is seeing you as this. Something like this is significant here. One, two, three, four. We have artesian and craftsmanship and the reverse. So like maybe you could be an artesian or craftsmanship or someone that works with your hands or... um someone doesn't and they need to or something like this someone stop working with the hands i don't know something like that one two three four we have explorer and adventure and the reversal someone's feeling trapped like they can't go exploring or go on an adventure here or maybe you're feeling this way aries let me get one more four one two two three four okay we have rebel and free spirit okay you could be seen as a rebel but you're actually just a free spirit okay people don't understand that about you okay but this is the card they want you to see today hunter and tracking okay definitely somebody could be watching your movements or watching you through social media or something like this is significant here okay guys someone's name could be hunter out here possibly okay all right the best hunters know that certain skills are required for a successful hunt and the more they are practiced the better they the better the hunt the hunter must learn everything they can about the animal they hunt, including habitat, preferred foods, and annual migration patterns. They must know how to scout ahead before proceeding and be as quiet as possible. After their mission, they will evaluate what worked and what didn't. Many of these same principles apply to hunting for plants, whether animal or vegetable. There is a relationship between the hunter and the hunted. The culture and mindset of indigenous, of indigenous hunters is that they are tracking a relative a sister or brother, and they need to proceed respectfully and honorably. Acknowledging this deep and intimate relationship becomes necessary to sustain, to sustain spiritual congruency that this living being, plant or animal, is cooperating and, 
Acknowledging this deep and intimate relationship becomes necessary to sustain spiritual congruency that this living being, plant or animal, is cooperating and collaborating as an equal expression of consciousness itself. The hunted is not a victim, but instead connected to the hunter in ways that far surpass the simple act of hunting and being hunted. This way of looking at things is foreign to much of the Western world. Okay? That's what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. They are saying, once you're clear on the object on the object of your pursuit, organize your thoughts, feelings, and actions so that they support your goal. Be clear on your intention and learn as much as you can about the target of your quest. In doing so, you are establishing a relationship with what... Well, sorry. You are establishing a relationship with that which is being sought. You then proceed to follow the trail using all of your knowledge and your senses, staying alert and paying attention to signs and omens along the way. Periodically stop, be still, and listen with eyes, ears, and bodily cues. Following the course, you might hit a few obstacles, but with clear intention, courage, and trust in the Great Spirit, you will succeed. While the original purpose of the hunt may shift, and the goal itself may change, you still have to trust that life knows what it's doing and a higher power will get you through any periods of doubt and uncertainty. Okay? All right, Aries, that is going to be the end of your reading today. I hope this message resonated with someone out here. If it did, guys, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? If you guys would like to reach out to me for a personal reading or donate to the channel, you can find that in the description box below, okay? Also, if you guys would like an opportunity to make extra money, you can find that in the very bottom of the description box below, okay, guys? So make sure you take a look at that. Helps you, helps me, how's everybody, okay? All right, guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. Thank you guys so much for the new likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, okay? I will get back to my comments at some point today. Um, I don't know exactly when, but I will get back to them today at some point. Getting ready for next week, trying to get a little ahead and prepared here, all right? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, guys, love yourself first.